Hey Exiles, how are we doing? It is Mr. A2G and we are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Just to sort of um, follow up on the previous video that I made for the series uh, with regards to the Airship uh, Adventurers um, uh, Zone. So the quest line for that one there, that was that's a limited time that you can um, obviously action that once activated. You've got, I've only got about a day or so for it to complete and naturally you go through it. So I want to follow up with the another new mechanic that was added into the game and that's essentially revolving around the... Uh, auto button so now that we can auto any time that we want as opposed to in the past where we would have had to have um, killed all the animals in the area traps and everything like that if applicable uh, to then from thereafter to automatically let your exile run and gather resources there's a few other little twists and turns with the auto feature so this is why i want to use this video uh, to utilize the that particular mechanic and address it here so you guys have a little bit more info and uh, in-depth information. So we're gonna go ahead and do this anyway. So basically with this, um, your exile is obviously just gonna do its auto mode as per normal and um, collect resources. Now in the event, if an enemy is close by or if the enemy attacks you, like it's gonna happen here, your exile is gonna turn around and hit the uh, enemy as well or attack it until the enemy um, is obviously dead it's not going to attack any of the neutral enemies like the deer from what i can see so if it does um or if it is capable of doing so let me know in the comments at this point i don't believe that is the case so we're just going to roll on the, under the emphasis there that the enemy sorry your exile will only attack enemies and not neutrals in this respect so as I'm sort of continuing along, you'll notice that my exile will take damage, um, hunger and thirst points um, as it reduces and goes down over time. What I want you guys to look at um, further along down the video is eventually you'll notice that the exile will automatically self heal with food, water, whatever it needs in order for it to actually um, regenerate itself so you can continue so in theory you can basically sit your phone on the table wherever it is and walk away in confidence so long as you've got enough weapon durability food armor heals a lot and your exile will just continue to run the zone so before i get any further with this i'm just going to quickly just let you know what i have um, in my inventory so i've got two weapons I do have um, some bandages, uh, blessed water, and some water skins. So I wanted to use the water skins instead of the water casks. Um, as your thirst does reduce and the more enemies that you attack, that's when you obviously use your um, thirst um, uh, meter. So that's when the thirst goes down. As you can see, the hunger level goes down only when you're gathering resources. So I just want to get you guys to keep that in mind, all right? So we'll continue on. And I need some wood, so I decided to visit the Cursed Forest today, so this is why I'm, I'm here. And also there's a decent amount of enemies for us to sort of um, elaborate on this particular uh, mechanic in the game now that it's available. So at least this way we can sort of give you guys a better representation. Now, whilst I was just talking, you, you would have noticed that um, the Exile just had a piece of meat. So two things, naturally... Um, hunger goes up and my um, HP bar, uh, bar goes up as per normal. So I didn't touch that. I let that go. So basically my exile just did what he had to do to survive enemies coming through. And you do notice that he does a lot of critical points in the auto mode. Um, now I don't know if that's by, um, by mechanics. If you're in automatic mode to sort of promote this as a as an alternate way of playing the game, that I'm not too sure. So right now, I can only just sort of speculate for now because we've we've only had the update for a short amount of time. I just wanted to go through this anyway, first and foremost, and just give you guys a little bit of an impression to give you guys a little bit more um, info behind it. So as he's going along you can see that his hunger is going to go down a little bit further now usually i believe once he gets around to the 20s that's when you get the automatic self-replenishment 
and the hundred meter goes back up again so we're going to get there now anyway so as we can see it's going to get to 33 with 32 31 30 now we've just dipped below 30 there so i think as soon as it gets to 20 that's when the health bar reaches that uh, critical point where oh there you go so he's just taken that um, bit of food there so I want to sort of show you as well into a little bit um, into more combat as well, just to give you guys a bit of an idea on how he deals with multiple enemies and things like that. So I've tried this through um, a few zones. So I've done it through basic zones, so one skulls, I've done it through two skulls, I've done it through the, um, three plus skulls, so like the woodlands. Um, I'm actually just trying this for the first time through the dark forest here, just to see how this goes. Um, just to sort of give the XR a little, um, some different environments to test uh, the mechanic ability and to see how the pathing works with this as well. What he prioritizes as a, um, an initial threat and then goes down the chain of command. So at least it gives you guys a little bit more in-depth view and overview on how it works and you can appropriately set your XR up to do the same thing. So some people sort of would argue the point if um, automatic um, full automatic mode is making the game easy for us. It's not because you're doing the exact same thing without sort of touching it in and well hence the automatic mode. You can manually take over anytime you want and basically do what you need to do if it warrants it. So that comes down to your own discretion guys, um, how you choose to use it. Um, you wouldn't want to use this in the, the newer um, zones of say the, the two new levels in the Cursed Forest. You definitely wouldn't want to use it in those areas, especially with the type of enemies that are lurking in those type of uh, zones. You're more or less wanting to do this for farming reasons, I would imagine, um, as opposed to, you know, the, the general grind to get certain items or defeat certain enemies. So that would be my, uh, my take on it. Now, I haven't gone through the full process as to see what he needs in terms of making the auto mode work does he need enemies and both resources or does he just need resources for automatic mode to click in so we can find that out today anyway now he just healed twice now you just noticed that so he would have taken a bandage and he would have done that to repl uh, replenish his um uh, hunger uh, status bar so I'm just sort of giving you guys a bit of an idea on how that works there and just to sort of let you know exactly how he actually consumed um, you know uh, heals and where it's coming from now naturally if you don't have any of any of these additional items I, I put that there purposely just to point that out for you guys then naturally he will only take the only source of heals that is available to him he won't be able to use it in the um, if it's in any other location other than the exile in, it, in its immediate inventory so what I mean by that is if you've got um, uh, sorry if you've got your horse and you've uh, loaded up on heals there he won't take that out from the horse so you're going to need to use the items that are in his in direct inventory now by talking just before he immediately swapped over to the pyro ring as soon as the crossbow uh, broke so that's another handy feature as well so this basically allows you to give full license for your exile to consume the uh, the zone and not do anything in regards to touching um, your phone essentially so if you just want to let let it do automatic and you feel that you can um, comfortably walk away if you need to do something grab some water or you know cook a meal whatever it might be you know that you've got certainty behind your exile to run the zone without any problems and you know I'm doing it in a zone that's you know um, not a um, an easy zone uh, you know by any sort of sense especially if you don't have um, higher level of armor or weaponry or anything like that it can be quite difficult so even even as you can see he's getting below the threshold there and he can basically just heal himself up automatically without any problems and basically you can just let him go on his merry way now we're getting close to the thirst meter as well so eventually we will see him starting to auto replenish with the water skin 
I use the water skin specifically so it'll be a little bit more frequent that you might see it top itself up. So I just thought I'd put that um, into perspective as well. Now the other thing that he's not doing is he's not healing himself with um, blessed water or potions of uh, Mara if you guys have got them. So I'm not too sure why that hasn't happened. Um, so that's something that I might feed back to the devs there just to sort of give them a bit of an idea and say, hey, look, you've got an exile that would automatically run around, do his or her bidding. However, it's not, you know, looking after the exile entirely. So, you know, curse points being the, the obvious problem here. But continuously, he will still heal. He will still do what he needs to do to keep himself um, healthy. Now, I haven't really stressed it out to the point where I've got no armor, so this is a really good test, especially with um, uh, with spiders coming at you as well, how frequently he will top up with his um, uh, health. So this is, this is probably a good way of um, judging this at the moment. So as you can see, he's just going to town, and even though that we've got a whole bunch of enemies there, unfortunately in this case we died, but you could see that he he was trying so and I purposely let him go I didn't want to actually you know um, top up his armor or anything like that or heels or whatever so that was just a good idea just to sort of give you guys a better understanding on how all that works yes it's gonna take um, points away from my satchel bags my horse satchel bags and things like that look it is what it is I'm not too worried about that I just really ideally wanted you guys to see how that all works and hopefully it gives you guys a better indication of what the limitation might be but from what you could sort, um, see from my end there I was pretty much on zero armor and on a relatively weaker weapon in a zone such as this so it didn't really give me too much avenue to go about but you can see the constant the consistency of how he was healing himself up and that's really what I want to sort of point out to you guys and just sort of give you a better impression on it so if we can get back to our um, dead body there, we can hopefully recover most of our items, I hope. So I'm just going to get off a horse here. Let's sneak up on him here. And... Okay, so let's just equip. Uh, let's equip that. Let's grab that and that. I'm going to grab all these for the minute. Is there any more there? There is not. So I'm just going to quickly walk away. And let's just re-equip that onto our horse. And let's put everything back into our saddlebags. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's just take all. Have we grabbed everything? We have. Okay, so I've got no... Um, I've got no... Uh, what do you call it? I've got no armor or anything like that. It did burn through a lot of roasted meats. So I had over, what, 16, 17 before I entered that last battle there. So he realistically blew through them quite um, quite aggressively to just try to keep himself um, alive, essentially. So we've only used three, um, uh, three water skins. So what I might do is I actually might swap that back into my horse there because I just want to hang on to that for now and just see how that goes there but yeah at least this way this uh you guys know a little bit more about it and just see what it's all, all about and what it's capable of doing so at least in the form that he's in now he can still uh get away from things like dark wolves and things like that so I'm, I'm going to sort of take over from here on out and just finish these guys off but at least this gives you guys a better understanding and impression. So I want to let I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, if there's any other way that you think I could have done this a little bit more differently, um, definitely go right ahead and uh, let me know down in the comments there and let me know what you thought about it. And just to add as well, while I'm going through this today, by the time you're watching this video, I would have already hit my 1,000 sus subscribers. So I have finally clicked over to 1K. So it has finally happened. So i got to thank you guys here. Thank you so much for your support and commitment to my channel. Um, thank you for all the likes, the, uh, the comments, all of my videos, everything like that. So um, much appreciated, guys. So thank you so much um, for your support with everything from the start of the channel up until now. 
it's taken nine months. Um, so nine months since I started the channel and it's taken nine months to get to my first thousand. So yeah, thank you so much guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so look guys, if you enjoy everything that you see, you know, of my videos, make sure you hit the like button, um, comment down below, subscribe, notification bell if you haven't done so already. If you do want to see more videos like this and any other videos that I'm putting out on my channel there, go ahead and do all that sort of good stuff. Anyway, I think I've pretty much proved my point here um, and illustrated everything that I wanted to. So I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Take it easy.